Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk a little more about Arch Labs, Arch Labs Linux. We'll come back to that. I installed this February the 1st, just before lunchtime I was finished. And so I've been in this since, I just call it eight days. And I really enjoyed Arch Labs. I knew that while I was installing it and using it, what have you, I knew that it seemed to be like a really nice system. Uh, go back to their website. This is their webpage, artslabslinux.com. If you go down here and click on the wiki, you get a lot more information about Arts Labs. And I was grateful to have a wiki to look at, uh, with especially, especially with all the uh, links and uh, you know, links that are provided here and can carry you through all kind of stuff. So let me minimize this. Uh, if you can look at my taskbar, or what I would call the systems tray in Windows, I've got it set up. I got my clock pimped out. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure you can see all that. See something? No, I got it great. Oh, I got it right there. I'll cut that out. So if you look at my what I would call the systems tray part of my taskbar, you'll see I got my clock pimped out. I uh, got my network, OBS, Wi-Fi, and I've got everything that I would typically normally use to create videos right here installed. Now, Featherpad would be the first one. It comes with Mousepad. I prefer Featherpad. I'm not sure why. I just do. <laughs> File Manager, that's Thunar. That came with it. OBS Studio. That's running right now. Caden Live, I use that. Audacity. Krita for my photo manipulation or editing. GUVC View, Simple Screen Recorder, GNOME Disk. Uh, system Monitor. And Boco Screen, I've, I've played around with that. I'm, I'm not so impressed with it, but if you was recording a video without audio and then wanted to overdub it, it would be a great tool to have it does record audio but there's no filters or you know you'd have to have some sort of filter going on hard info that's how i know how long or it was when i installed it let's see under boots i think if i can find that <laughs> there it is up at the top so yeah february the first uh, 11 22 i finished the installation and actually installed hard info I could have actually done it a day or two before. And I've been playing around in a little while here, and I'm running two gigs of memory, but I got OBS going, and I got two uh, incidences, incidences of Firefox, and I got my notes going. So that's not unreasonable, especially, like I said, I've been playing around in it for a little while here just this morning. I got VirtualBox, I got it set up, everything seems to work. I got the extension packs, I, I was able to install that without any problems. Print support. There it is. I, was trying, I installed a printer both through the USB and the wireless, and that's cut up because I've used it for notes. <laughs> And printer installed right off the bat. First, I installed it using system config print printer or HPLIP and just added a USB printer. And then I run HP setup and connected my Wi Fi, and it, it works just fine. So let's go back to my menu here. Uh, I was able to get, like I said, everything that I use on a daily basis, and I've had no crashes, I've had no error reports, I've had nothing. It's just, as you might say, it's uneventful. <laughs> it just works. And everything works just like you think it would. And if you're, if you're an Arch user and you use uh, Yay or Trizen or other, another Arch Linux helper, AUR helper, then this comes installed uh, with Bath. And it works just like, let's just, let's just bring up a terminal real quick. I, I'm sure I demonstrated this, but. B-A-P-H hyphen S searches. 
uh, hyphen I would be installed. So let's just search for, let's see, mint dick. Now this is something I didn't install, and this is what uh, uh, Linux Mint uses by default, mint stick, and it is available. And let's see, I don't know. I'd be real surprised if it was in the regular repositories. No, it's not. So BAF would work just like uh, yay, any other Arch Linux helper. Uh, other commands with Pac-Man are identical. There's no changes there. BAF seems to work. It's uh, It works. The end result is the same. But it works there in the middle a little different. It it'll ask you, do you want to look at the the build files? And there, there are options, and I showed you those on that last video. How to no confirm and just go through all that stuff without you seeing it. But I, I was curious and wanted to see what it does. So let's go back to my menu here. You'll see I got a other category, and here's where I stuck my a few uh, items that are not, I, I use them, but I want them in a certain place. I don't want to have to go looking for them every time. Like, for instance, disk. I don't want to have to go to my accessories. I just want to go to my favorites and find it. Well, the same thing with, uh, in this case, Etcher and Sousa Image Writer and Mugshot. Now, this is a little quirk that I've seen. And I thought it was first in the virtual box, but it seems to be proven out here on hardware. Normally, on XFCE desktop, if you'll go up here and Mugshot is installed, you just left click on it and it opens up Mugshot. Well, here you find it in the menu and you open it up that way. Now, it works perfectly. I'm just saying that's a little different. That is one thing I, I did see that was different. Other than that, you got a a great Arts Linux distribution or installation, and it didn't come with a whole lot of stuff. You can see I, all the stuff was available, and anything I needed that was in the AUR, for instance, Xmodo. Let's see, was there another game? Uh, no, it was just Xmodo. That was not available through Pac Man, so you have to use a AUR helper, and Bath installed it right away. What else? Let's see, there was some other things that I actually installed. I think it may have been DVD Styler. Let's find out. Let's go BAP8 S DVD Styler. And it searched the AUR for that, and there was no results. So if we went Pac Man SS. DVD styler, you'll see it's installed and it was in the repositories, and that's I was wrong. That didn't come out of the AUR. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, the fact a few years ago now when I installed that it was in the AUR. I hadn't made it over to the regular repositories. So anyway, I did all this through a it, they call it main menu in the menu, but it's actually a la carte. A L A R C T E. And it's very simple. Here's uh, my other category, which you have a other category by default, but if there's nothing in it, it won't show up on the in your menu here. So I saw it was an empty folder or ha had nothing showing in it. Any one of these, you could just click and it would show up there. But you can see I put at your SUSE main menu and mugshot in there. And it's very easy to use. And it's a lot less confusing than uh, another. At least one other that I that I know menu editor that I know of, <laughs> and I don't really know what to say about any more about Arts Labs. It's just like I said, I like Arts. That's my base. I I run it every day. One of my machines has had it on there for a couple of years now, and I just like Arts. That's what I grew up with, <laughs> and. This just works just like my vanilla arts install that I use. So 
just I don't know what else to say. It's a great system. If you have any doubts about using Arch Labs, give it a shot. Try it for a week like I did. Hook up your printer, see if that works. Uh, one thing I didn't one thing I didn't install or look at was Bluetooth. So I don't know if Bluetooth support how easy that is to get going, but I do know this on vanilla art, it's just a couple uh you need pulse audio Bluetooth. And once you get that, it's very simple to to get Bluetooth working. So I, I'm assuming that that would work in the same in Arts Labs. Because like I said, every single thing else has. So this is going to do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Like I said before, give Arts Labs a try. try. If, you're, if you want to use Arts and you're scared of Arts, this is one of the few distributions I personally would actually recommend. Thanks for, for <laughs> thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on another video. Peace out, guys. Bye. <laughs>